Hello guys, welcome back to S3D and today we're going to talk about more G.I. Joe's. So here is 3djoes.com and I'm going to talk about this 1993 Cobra Detonator from G.I. Joe Battle Corps. Uh, so when I uh, moved to the United States, uh, this is actually around the time when this stuff was actually popular. Uh, I really got into this Battle Corps. I actually collected a couple figures on this line. Uh, because like all my friends are into G.I. Joe's, yeah, you know, I want to be like cool because, uh, you know, uh, they, they don't know what, uh, Saint Seiya and uh, Gundam were because, uh, you know, <laughs> it's America, right? So yeah, uh, I really got into, uh, uh, these vehicles, uh, and I believe I actually got this one. Either I got it or my brother got it. But uh, yeah, this one is a really, really fun vehicle. It comes with those like foam rockets that you can launch. Kind of like, you know, Nerf guns and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty fun vehicle. It's like a, uh, also like a troop carrier situation. I think we also got the uh, Mega something, uh, like the, the thing for the Mega Monsters or something like that. It's the armor personnel carrier or something like that kind of look like that thing among aliens in fact i think that whole series was trying to riff off aliens but anyway i digress so this is a detonator and actually come with a uh cobra nitro viper figure uh that's a somewhat of a social figure i think the nitro viper actually had a regular release uh 3.75 inch scale yeah, it's a, it's a fun little vehicle. It's got that, uh, you know, gimmicky air launching foam gimmick. And here we have the Nitro Viper. It looks super half-ass. Like, he doesn't really have anything else. It's just like a helmet. And yeah, if you think Hasbro is, is lazy now, you should see how lazy they were in the 90s. Some of these figures are just looks like, you know, it's just a recolor of, well, I mean, basically, it is exactly what that is. It's really, really ridiculous. Uh, Nitro Viper, basically, he only exists to pilot the stupid... Uh, well, it's a pilot... Uh, he's a stupid pilot that only exists to pilot this vehicle. Yeah, and uh, look at it. Like, the like his body is supposed to be, like, in this white color, but the figure... Doesn't even look right. I don't think the figure is like made in the right colors. It's like missing the whole body piece or something like that. Uh, yeah, you can see the armor is clearly silver, but when you see the uh, uh, the actual figure itself, you wonder what the heck, man. This, why are they so freaking lazy? They can't even like you know paint the uh, body into the silver color. Come on. Right? I mean, look at the knee pads, look at the visor, look at the boots, but the body is in the wrong color. Yeah, you know what? I give all these company crap because that's what I do. That's what we do here on S3D. <coughs> and uh, yeah, here's some technical spec. I think in the 90s, they actually got really lazy with the design. Uh, and uh, that's, I think that's one of the reasons why uh, the G.I. Joe line ended up just, you know, dying because of it. Okay, so yeah, this uh, this is how you assemble the freaking vehicle. You have to uh, uh, you know uh, attach the bellow into the center of the vehicle, so that way you can use that uh, you know that uh, uh, plunger handle in order to launch the freaking uh, thing. And then you also have gun turrets on the back, which are like uh, it's geared. Actually, so when you rotate uh, the uh, gun turret, like the uh, figure inside the gunner seats actually moved, which I thought is pretty cool. You know, the G.I. Joe line is honestly a really, really fun line. I wish they would continue doing this. Uh, yeah, I mean, for, for like, a, you know, army vehicle situation, there were actually a lot of people in Asia that still enjoys uh, collecting these uh, 3.75 inch. G.I. Joe stuff. It's actually super popular. Uh, my friends in Malaysia told me uh, they, they opened up an actual G.I. Joe theme park in Malaysia because it's so popular. And yeah, I believe it, you know. 
So anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.